Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this impossible stack art project. The first thing is you're going to get a piece of colored construction paper. I recommend choosing a color that's lighter, so yellow, orange, red, pink would all be good ones. And then on this first piece of paper, you're going to start drawing eight 3D forms. You could start drawing the ones we practiced, so cylinder, cone, sphere, cube. You could also try a pyramid. And how you would make a pyramid is you would start out with a straight line. And then you make two little diagonal lines so it looks almost like an arrow. And then you connect everything together by drawing two diagonal lines on either side. So then you have these two little triangles that are just like right next to each other. I'm going to finish drawing my eight shapes. And you could draw a variety of sizes as well. You could draw some small shapes, some big shapes. Anyways, next I'm going to start shading. So you could either use just a regular pencil for this, or you could use a black colored pencil. I'm using a black colored pencil because I think that shows up really well. But if you're more comfortable with just using a pencil, that's totally fine too. This will take you a while, so just be patient with yourself. Take your time. Don't go too fast because I need to see all the different shades that you made. Once I'm finished, I'm going to cut out all of those shapes. Remember to throw your scraps away. Here's my shapes when they're completely cut out. I'm going to set those aside for a little bit. You're going to get two more pieces of paper. You're going to get a background paper, and then you're going to get a second piece of paper to make the tabletop so that our shapes look like they're sitting on something. You only need half a sheet of paper for the little table part. Um, you could either just cut your paper right in half, or you could fold it in half and then keep folding back and forth until you're able to rip the paper in half. Either way works just fine. I prefer the folding because I think it makes it look a little bit neater and easier to get half a sheet. Anyways, then I'm going to glue that on my paper. Just kind of fit it on there the best that you can. Next comes the fun part. You're gonna take your shapes and you're going to arrange them the way that you want. Remember, this is an impossible stack, so the order of it, or the stack, does not have to make sense. So right now, I'm going to do my cylinder at the bottom. Maybe I want my cue to be kind of hanging off the side. And then my cones, and then maybe I want the sphere to be balancing on top of one of the cones. So that stack really wouldn't make sense, but that's okay, because it looks pretty cool. And if you're thinking like, uh, I don't know if I like this, I can't really fit all my forms the way that I want them to, you could also make two stacks. So there's my first stack. I think I'm gonna make a second one because I kind of reached the end of my paper. So it's another option. So after you have finished um, arranging your stack, then you would just glue all of those shapes down. So here's that one I just made, and then here's the first one that I showed you at the beginning. I hope you have lots of fun. Remember to put your name on it. Bye.